also, but dealing with the fact that you really know inside of you that you are supposed to be a legend, you know, that you, that God has placed this on your life to, for you to step out and be big. And so you have this shadow in which you probably want to go, well, I, I want to shrink to that. And yet God is saying, no, I can't have you shrink to that. You got to step in. And it sounds like this has been your journey over the last few years to really come on, all my life, come into yourself and say, yeah, uh, I, I am my own destined warrior you know yeah. that destined is not as scary anymore maybe right. <laughs> you know like it doesn't hold that shadow or that 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 weight over your head of what you're living up to and yet at the same time you can embrace the destined because we all are you know i remember uh, a person uh, uh told me he, or asked me he said who are you in lord of the rings and, and where are you in the journey you know and I thought, well, I'm small. I guess I'm just Frodo, you know, or whatever. <laughs> and it took me like several years to admit that I was Aragorn, you know, because mm. it just sounded so big and so like I'm the king, you know, or that kind of thing. And I, I didn't want to accept that, you know. But, um, you know, God freed me up in a lot of ways. One was going, well, I've called a lot of Aragorn. It's Brian. You're not like the only Aragorn, you know. <laughs> you know, it's just your Aragorn. For, but you need to, you for know, you're season, that reluctant hero you're yeah. that reluctant uh you know your strider over here before your aragorn right now and i need you to move from strider to aragorn but even know? frodo he had a hefty task that only he could do yeah you know so sometimes i think we try to downplay and diminish the, mm-hmm. the smallness of it but everybody couldn't have handled that ring yeah you know that was something that only Frodo could handle. Right. So sometimes, unfortunately, we look at what we're giving and think that is not enough, it's not good enough, what can I do with this, this is so small, or we start to compare. Yeah. Well, I'm not so-and-so, and so-and-so is doing that, or I'm not this, but no, I didn't call you to be so-and-so, I called you to be this, I called you to be this person right now in this season, and I think we forget that we have the grace to grow. Yeah. That we're not going to be Frodo all the time, we're going to be many characters, many people as we are on this journey of yeah. life, and just understand that Yes, it might be Frodo today, but you'll be Aragon tomorrow. But you have to understand, like, the totality of it, you know? Yeah. So tell me what gets you up in the morning these days. Like, tell me a little bit more about what you do. Uh, explain that to folks. And, um, you know, maybe there might be some people who want to be, be connected to you in some way. Awesome. Let me see. What gets me up in the morning? Um, it depends if I get up before the little munchkins come in. <laughs> <laughs> I have a five-year-old daughter and a four-year-old boy. Um, and that's a blessing in and of itself because it took nine years to even get them. Wow. So they shouldn't even be here. Yeah. Um, so for me, once I stepped out and decided to be an entrepreneur, um, I started a consulting firm and that transpired into what I do now, which is I'm a professional speaker as well as a, a boss cultivator. So I help people to believe it, own it, see it, and seize it. And that's what mm-hmm. boss stands for okay. in every area of their life to be able to say go, it again. Believe, believe it. Believe it own it, see it, and seize it. Mm. So as it describes your movies perfectly. <laughs> That's awesome. It does. And, and it's funny because when, uh, as I was going through training to learn how to be a speaker, um, God gave that to me. He always speaks to me in acronyms, but he gave that to me. And he told me that I would be speaking on fear of fail, uh, the fear of failure and the opposite of that, which is confidence and success. Mm. And I was like, you want me to speak on what? And boss is what? But I don't feel like a boss. But the reality is that a lot of times everybody saw my greatness. Everybody saw what I brought to the table. But it just took a long time for me to be able to believe it, own it, see it, and then seize it, take that authority mm-hmm. myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so tell me, we, 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 we uh, pick the character who you would step in and kind of coach. Now pick the character that you feel like is the, the marquee exemplary character of what you would say is boss somebody who believes who's owned it who sees it who is seizing it uh, which, mm. which which one of these characters would you say did that the best i would have to say um eddie murphy really and coming to america how about that because he already had that mindset and even though his father had certain stipulations on him he came from he went, he had and he chose to let it go to then achieve what he inspired to have. Uh-huh. So I'm worth, you know, I, I will take the risk 
to let go of the wealth and the riches because it's not fulfilling my life. Mm-hmm. I'm given. Remember, he had a, a choice of a wife. He had a choice, you know, of everything. And he said, I'm willing to let it go to figure it out on my own. So he believed in himself enough to go and chase his dream. And then when he got there, he said, you know what? Okay, I'm here. I'm going to figure it out. Right. I'm going to own what I have. What do I have that's in my hands? What are my resources? Mm-hmm. How can I own this? I'm going to be the best fryer. Remember, he said, I'm going to be the best fryer there ever is. To him, everything was new. And what everybody else took for granted, for him, it was like, oh, my God, this is amazing. And then he saw the vision. He saw his new potential wife. He saw what he could be, what he could do. And then he went out and he seized it. He decided, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to. And he elevated up in the company. He had ideas. And he got the girl of his dreams, even though she was, you know, talking to Soul Glow Guy. But he he had, and at the end, he got what he went for, was to find a wife who didn't want to, was chosen for him, but he chose, and, and they agreed on their own terms. And not only that, what also made him boss is that, even if you think about her character, who she was, you know, uh, people were trying to tell her. Uh, and she came into her own yeah. and she chose as well. Yeah. And she said, I am worthy of having a prince. So being a boss is also helping other people see that they are also a boss. And by that, mm. she then said, I am a queen. I believe I am. I'm going to own this because this was brought before me. I see it and I'm going to seize it and I'm going to rule this kingdom. Wow. So I'm taking authority. So for me, boss is not in a sense of what people think like I'm a boss I yes you're a boss because you have a business so I love working as Jana B which is the brand as women entrepreneurs Streamline Success International is the company so I work with all entrepreneurs but being able to see that is more of an inside job right is more of the heart is more of cultivating that mindset cultivating that self worth I love to say I love to help you increase your self worth elevate your inner boss and streamline your vision for success mm-hmm. but until you have new eyes until you understand from the inside inside mm-hmm. out that you're a boss then your vision won't happen it yeah. won't come to that to pass so being able to be a visionary and seeing that you're he was the epitome of a boss and being able to willing to take the risk to believe on himself to bet on himself make things happen from nothing he cultivated that and was able to help cultivate somebody else and help them come into their mm-hmm. their boss authority in a sense tell everyone how they can get in touch with you what they can mm-hmm. do to find you if they want to learn how to be boss too. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be my pleasure. And Brent, before I say that, I want to say thank you. Uh, mm-hmm. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for helping me. And I, even as we were talking, I had to fight back the tears in some cases because it's more revelation. Um, and who I am and the, and the reminder, I'm going to put this up on my wall, as a reminder that, yes, I am the unlikely hero. Yes, all their destiny was war for field. Yes, they impacted a lot as a reminder. So when that fear starts to talk, I have to look at my top ten and say, no, this is how God was speaking to me. This is how he called me. This is how he created me. And if you didn't do what you did, if you didn't do real, if you didn't let God use you, mm-hmm. then you couldn't have impacted me the way that you have impacted me mm-hmm. and what your experience has done for me in my life. So thank you so much. I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. And if you want to reach me, you can reach me at, um, you go to my website, which is www.jannab, and that's J-A, N is the Nancy, N is the Nancy A, the letter B, um, as a boy.com. So Jana B.com. You can find out more information there. I am on Twitter and Instagram and I'm getting back on Periscope at Jana B speaks. And I'm on Facebook at Jana B and also every Tuesday evenings and Brian will be, he knows this already. He'll be coming on the show as well to share. Um, I have boss talk with Jana B every Tuesday is a, it's an online uh, radio show that I do yeah. uh, from seven to 9 PM. And I just love to provide uh, insight, motivation, inspiration for entrepreneurs and as- aspiring women entrepreneurs. Uh, Cause we need that encouragement during this time as we are stepping out there to be fearless. Well, thanks for being with us today. It, it was, was a pleasure. Oh, it was wonderful to talk to you. Thanks for joining us for real conversations. If you happen to be in the Atlanta area and would like to explore what your top 10 movies say about you, you can get real by going to realexperiences.com and book an experience. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Real by Art Within.